Well, everybody, it is a sad day just to announce that SpongeBob is now retiring from Universal Studios. And as I know, I grew up watching SpongeBob ever since I was one years old when it the first episode came out, and it's still popular, and the seasons and the episodes are still going on. And finally, at Universal Studios, they have announced that SpongeBob and Patrick has retired, and they're no longer at Universal Studios Hollywood. So the meet and greet and all the photos are all done. And this is actually an old photo taken before they upgraded SpongeBob. And as you see, he used to have pin arms. And now he has actually regular arms, as you see, as they upgraded in 2012. And I think my first time actually seeing, I think when they had SpongeBob out there taking pictures in this costume or as this character, excuse me. Um, I remember back in 2002, 2003, when he was, um, that he looked exactly like that. <clears throat> and uh, years go by, a few years go by, and then they upgraded, and then they had SpongeBob. They brought SpongeBob and Patrick along. Or actually, they brought Patrick along, but they upgraded SpongeBob, sorry. And is it me, but does it look like Patrick has a face on his forehead? I mean, like, that's kind of weird. It kind of looks like maybe he did his own doodle with that pencil. So yes, Spongebob and Patrick are retired and they're not going to be at Universal Studios anymore for meet and greets and photos. And I think we all remember um, that this store, ever since Spongebob came out, they had cartoon, cartooniverse, car, uh, cartooniversal, the Spongebob Squarepants store, and everything was about Spongebob. You had plush dolls, you had collectibles, you had souvenir cups, you had candy bars. This this was so popular before they brought the Simpsons here. And this was just crazy. You could just, I remember going in that store, seeing all that merchandise. I mean, man, that was just, wow. All that t-shirts and all the hats. I remember that. I remember I had one of the hats. I have no idea what happened to it, but I remember I had one of those hats right there. Um, I'm not sure which one, but I'm thinking either I got the one on the top right or on the left, on the top left. So I don't know. Uh, but man, I remember seeing all these. And I think everybody remembers this souvenir cup. And I'm, I'm not sure if they have those anymore because I know I've been seeing more Homer Simpson um, souvenir cups. But I, don't, I haven't seen SpongeBob in a while. I, I think I did this year, but... I wasn't really paying attention, but I think they're not going to have these anymore. They already don't have those, and that store is already totaled. That's gone, so that store is no longer there. Because um, now I think they just uh, upgraded and replaced it with the Hello Kitty, which is really... Ugh. Um, but yeah, so SpongeBob is finally done, and also he retired, so he's no longer at Universal Studios Hollywood. So... So long, Spongebob, and uh, the one thing I don't understand is why get rid of something if it's still popular? I mean, because his episodes are still going on, and so are the seasons, so why get rid of it if it's still going, unless they know something's up? Mm, but they haven't canceled the show yet. So, yeah, so overwhelming heartbreak that Spongebob is no longer at Universal Studios Hollywood. He is now retired. So, thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And let me know why you think that they got rid of him, but knowing he's still popular. Either they're maybe bringing in some uh, uh, some new characters. Uh, I already know they had a farting troll that shoots sparkles out of his butt. That's kind of dumb. But, uh, yeah, I actually like Spongebob better than a troll shooting sparkles out of the tush. But, uh, yeah. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And I'll see you guys on the next video.